What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the Happy Model Snapper 7. Uh, it also comes in the Snapper 6 which is a 65 millimeter version of this quadcopter. It is a 1S 75 millimeter brushless FPV racer with the Crazy B F3 flight controller which has a telemetry, it has OSD, it has a built-in receiver as well as a built-in 4-in-1 ESCs and it outputs RSSI as well. So let's open up the box and check it out. All right, so here's everything that came out of the box and it looks eerily familiar uh, to a quadcopter that I'd done recently and it was the US UK 65 the tiny hoop with the 1s brushless motors and look at that it comes with just about the same stuff inside the box and as a matter of fact the box is almost identically the same on the inside just at the outside cover it says snapper six and seven let me go ahead and show you the box that the snap or the us uk 65 came in here's the six in one charger three batteries and look at the box it looks exactly the same except the cover is different so everything that came in here is basically just about the same and it also shares the f3 flight controller the crazy b flight controller comes with the same kind of instruction pamphlet and the six in one charger as well you got six stations that you can charge a uh, high voltage or normal voltage in 0.2 amps or 0.6 amps here's a l ED readout and here's the barrel style connector to power this up and also you can power it up with the XC60 and it also has a USB out as well so just this alone is around now I seen it and it's right around $15 not $20 that I thought it was so a very very nice little charger indeed inside of the box and it comes with the quadcopter and it also comes with three of these batteries as well and this one has little cable attached to it uh, ph2 connectors and they give you three of these uh, happy model branded it is a 450 milliamp a 3.8 volt um, 30c continuous uh, i believe it has a, a 60 or 80c burst on these uh, batteries now also comes with this bag of goodies and it contains a prop removal tool uh, a rubber band and two rubber bands a bunch of little screws and a full set of those tri-bladed props we are given a bunch of these screws because if you look at this quadcopter it contains a lot of screws underneath check it out there are screws right here and those are the screws that they provide you with because there's a lot of screws holding this quadcopter together but we'll come back to the quadcopter in a little bit and we also get this screwdriver and let's not forget this instruction pamphlet and it is an extensive instruction pamphlet it goes on to show you everything you need to know about this quadcopter the all-in-one vtx camera combo and how to go about setting it up on your tyrannus and other models as well and it gives you the diagram of the flight controller how to go about binding it and how to go about charging your battery with that six in one charger so just fantastic it also goes into uh, details about the beyond heli suite as well so very very nice and the osd menu so very nice pamphlet all quadcopters should come with this type of instruction pamphlet or a booklet so let's take a closer look at the quadcopter all right so here is the quadcopter and taking a look at it it is looking eerily familiar as well check out the canopy it looks very familiar it also has the tilt adjustable angle camera built in as well and i was really really happy about that when i was doing the review of the us 65 the uk 65 version of the quadcopter and here it is here's the u s65 as you can see the camera was tilt adjustable as well as the e uh 65 millimeter tiny hoop as well the uh the brushed version and that one had a tilt uh angle capability on the camera and it has the same kind of canopy check it out exactly identical canopy so very very nice lots of openness so that uh, ventilation goes right through 
So very, very nice canopy. I really like this canopy. So this quadcopter is built in an true X frame configuration and some of it is carbon fiber and some of them is the aluminum alloy and the aluminum alloy portion of it is the ducted fan motor mounting prop guard design here and like i said there's tons of screws holding it together so the carbon fiber frame is the basis of the middle of the frame and then they've added this aluminum alloy ducted fan prop guard motor mount to hold everything in place and you would think uh, uh oh they gave us a lot of screws and this quadcopter contains a lot of screws well i've flown it this morning and i crashed it a couple of times and i thought oh no hopefully none of these screws came out and you know i lost any of these screws uh, i did not it is a very solid build it is very very tough and i think it's because the screws goes into the aluminum uh ducted fan motor mount prop guard instead of going into some carbon fiber frame which will loosen up but since it is going into this aluminum alloy it is staying put and it is one solid quadcopter now one question that i had immediately when i took this quadcopter out of the box is that because of it is made out of this aluminum alloy, if I crash it really hard onto something, it will bend out of shape and it will be very hard to bend it back. Well, I crashed it a couple of times and nothing happened to the uh, ducted fan aluminum alloy. So that is good. It's very tough. It is pretty hard to bend it. It is pretty tough and it is a very solid quadcopter, like I say. So, Taking a look at the props here, it is the 40 millimeter tri-bladed props and it is the push-in type. And the motors that we are provided with on this one is the 0802-19,000 kV motors. And it is the plug and play type of motor. So all you gotta do is just unplug it. If it goes bad, just plug in the new one and change out these three screws and mount it and you are good to go once again. Now, the ESCs are the 4-in-1 BL Holly S 5 amp a D shot 600 ESCs built directly into the flight controller. And again, the flight controller is the Crazy B F3 flight controller. So everything is built in to this flight controller so all you got is one circuit board and that is it the only thing that is not built in is the all-in-one vtx camera combo it is a 48 channel 25 milliwatt vtx with 700 tv line cmos camera and the field of view is 120 degrees and it also is sporting a green wire if you can see that green wire coming down and attaching itself to the fly controller besides the video signal wire and the power and the ground wire so there's four wires what that is is the tbs smart audio so we have controllability from the OSD menu to change the channels and the frequency of this quadcopter. So this quadcopter has everything that you want. It's got TBS Smart Audio, it has OSD, it also has telemetry, it also has a built-in receiver with RSSI output. So what you want, this quadcopter has everything in a small little package in a 75 millimeter quadcopter and this also comes in the 65 millimeter version as well all right so the snapper 7 is weighing in at 27 grams and if i add one of those 450 milliamp battery it will come in at a 40 grams total in weight it is a takeoff weight just to compare the weight I'm gonna put the US 65 without the battery and that quadcopter will come in at 21 grams. So this quadcopter in such a small package has everything that you want. It has telemetry, it has OSD, it has RSSI, and now thanks to the all-in-one VTX sporting the TBS smart audio capability, it has smart audio so you can change your frequency and channels right in your osd and it also has a very unique process of binding as well so if you take a look between the canopy and the 
ducted fin where I'm pointing to that little rectangle with that dot on the middle of that rectangle on the flight controller. Well, that is the binding button and it has a very unique binding process. All you got to do is power up the scepter and there is going to be an LED light that will be blinking. And once you hit this bind button, the LED light will go solid. It is now ready for binding and on your transmitter, just hit that bind button and the LED light will go solid, letting you know you had a successful binding. So it is one of the easiest quadcopters to bind with your transmitter. So there's one word of advice that I want to give when you're setting up this quadcopter. Uh, when you get into beta flight and you get into the battery configuration page, set your minimum battery voltage down to about 2.8 and your warning battery voltage down to about 2.8 as well. I had it set to about 3.1 or 3.2 and I had my main battery voltage indicator in the middle of the OSD as well as the average cell voltage on the side of the OSD. And because this is a 1S quark out there, you really don't need to do that again because it's just gonna show you the main battery voltage anyway. So I did, uh, have a redundancy and for some reason my average cell voltage was reading a lot lower than my main battery voltage and my warning as well uh, it was just constantly blinking and it was going off and telling me to land right now so go ahead and turn off the warning and don't use that average cell voltage you really don't need it just use the main battery voltage so you know how much voltage your battery has so this is just a awesome quadcopter it is such a smooth flyer for such a small design 75 millimeter tiny hoop and i think it is because of the fact that it is 75 millimeter as opposed to the 65 millimeter version that i've flown now this one when i did the review i noticed a lot of vibrations coming off of the video feed and i think it is mainly because it is a plastic frame uh, design as well as because it has the brushless motors it gave off a lot of vibration in the video feed and i'm flying this thing with the beta flight default pids as well and with this one same thing i'm flying it with the beta flight default pids but i think this one because of the size the 75 millimeter size now i haven't flown the 65 millimeter snapper six to compare but because of the bigger frame as well as these aluminum alloy construction it is a lot stable and it is a smooth flying quadcopter even outdoors uh, i've flown it out this morning outside and it kind of performed um to my surprise it felt like a bigger quadcopter than a 75 millimeter tiny hoop so this thing is a smooth flyer as well all right, so I have it bound to my Tyrannus QX7S. And because the Snapper 7 also has a telemetry, you are able to run the LUA script and change values of stuff like the PIDs, the VTX channel and frequency, and a lot of other stuff right from the transmitter without even getting into the OSD menu. So if you long press the page button you'll go into the lua script where you can change the pids right now it is blinking no telemetry so let me go ahead and power up the quadcopter telemetry recovered there you go there's the pid values and you can page over and change other stuff like the rc rate super rates and also you are able to change the VTX channels and the frequency as well directly from your transmitter so that is just awesome so the channels and the frequency on the VTX can be changed by physically tapping on the single button you can access the single button right inside from this ventilation hole right above that little white square you can physically tap that button to change the channels and the frequency of the vtx or by the way of the osd menu or now via the lua script on the transmitter so there are more choices of brushless tiny hoops than ever before this year for the upcoming winter months and they have some awesome features that was seen only on bigger quadcopters like telemetry osd and tbs smart audio 
in such a small package. So this Happy Model Snapper 7 is another one to consider if you are in the market for a brushless tiny hoop to fly in the house in the upcoming winter months or outdoors for that matter. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.